Hello and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a multicam sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro but first a little explanation. Multicam sequence is actually a feature in Adobe Premiere Pro that allows the user to bring two, three, rather four different camera recordings onto a single timeline and you could use the audio from one of those recordings as your master audio for this multicam sequence. With all that said, I'm currently recording this video on two different cameras. One of them is a Sony mirrorless, the other one is a Canon DSLR. I really hope that I'm in focus on that Canon DSLR, but that's another topic for another day. And also, I'm recording my audio directly into the computer using Audacity and this microphone. So with all that said, let's hop into the Premiere Pro and I will show you how to create a multicam sequence and what are the uses and how beneficial is it. So once you are in Adobe Premiere Pro, click on import media, select the media you would like to import. Once the media is imported, what I usually do is I create a new bin from selection and I name it raw. That way I can keep my clips organized. I double click on it to open up in a new bin. In case if you do not know how to open up a new bin, click on the timeline, go to edit. Go to preferences click on general this prompt will show up click on general come to bins over here and change from tab to open a new window that's how you open the bin in a new window but let's get back to the main video so once you click ok furthermore in order to create the multicam sequence i will now right click on the folder and i'll create a multi-camera source sequence from it this prompt will show up the first option is to change the name of the clip or the multicam sequence after that synchronize point in points out points time code sound time code audio track channel one in my practice i've seen myself and a lot of other people to use audio track channel one this is actually the track channel from the main camera sequence preset keep it to automatic what this will do is that the multicam sequence will set the resolution of the multicam sequence similar to the original video which in my case is 1080p offset audio by zero video frames leave it as b move source clips to process clips bin check please audio very important sequence settings now this option over here means that the audio will only be taken from camera one which is actually your main camera so most of the times a lot of people actually select camera one all cameras what this does is that it will mix the audio from all the cameras and switch audio is whenever you're in multicam sequence and you click on a different camera angle it will also switch the audio camera names you can select them by numbers tracks clips anyways this is done so press ok and it will actually create a multi-camera clip over here which once it's processed let me show you that so once it is processed you either can create a sequence from it by right clicking on it and click new sequence from clip or you could just drag and drop into the timeline like this so once the sequence is created the next thing you're going to do is click on the plus button and this is toggle multi-camera view bring it to your taskbar over here click OK and now when you click on it you can see a multicam window in the program panel so once this multicam window appears in the program panel I will now show you how to cycle or cycle between the camera angles in the multicam sequence I will hit the play button now and as you can see that this window is still black because the video in camera 1 started later than the video in camera 2 in order for me to actually now make cuts or different angles, I will just click on the other camera angle and it will, because the video is running right now, because the clip is running, you won't see the cuts. Let me make another cut and this is another angle that I've created. Let me make another camera angle over here and now I will stop and you will see that these cuts have been made and these are different camera angles. Now working with multicam sequence, two of the most important tools that you're going to be using while working with multicam sequence is actually a roll edit or how to change the camera in that particular section. Let's say I want this clip and I want the camera 1 to finish earlier over here and I want the camera 2 to start earlier over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on rolling edit and I'm going to bring this clip back and as you can see camera one angle finishes over here and the camera two angle starts from here 
and in case the next option is that in case if you want to for that time period totally want to change it to a different angle just bring it to that section and click on the other camera angle so these are for now the most two important and used uh, items or tools in multicam sequence and as you can see that multicam sequence is a very powerful and very useful tool to be used in adobe premiere pro while editing videos from three or rather four cameras in a single timeline and that's about it for multicam sequence in this video so if you enjoyed this video and this video helped you out in some shape way or form and if you're really someone who's really interested in learning new tips and tricks in adobe premiere pro like the video share it with your friend subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content later and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye